everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. Oh my gosh, you guys. We got to talk about Bath & Body Works strawberry daiquiri because I got a dud last year. I got a dud. So this is actually my second burn because I'm like, I want to be really sure that I like this candle uh, before I talk about it this year. So what I find interesting about Bath & Body Works candles is that I am like 99% sure that they are producing these in different factories. They're way too big of a volume to just do one factory. So I believe that there could be slight discrepancies because there have been other candles that I've like tried like one or I get like a bad one. Um, I never did return my strawberry daiquiri last year. It's somewhere in my basement. I gotta clean my basement, you guys. It's just a mess down there. <laughs> so this year, the packaging on strawberry pound cake, it just absolutely drew me in. So a lot of people I know are a little bit like, there's a lot of repackages this year. The sales haven't been good, which they haven't been. Oh my gosh, $14.95. Um, is a disaster price, I feel like, um, because now granted, it's better than the 10 off, the $16.95, but it feels like this is supposed to be like a good sale and it should be like $12.95 <laughs> for the good sale. So that's why I'm like, oh, $14.95 uh, just feels like a really, really high price. It's 15 bucks. Um, so the packaging on these new candles is stunning. I love birds. The parrot on this one, is that a parrot or a macaw? Someone's going to call me out because <laughs> I don't know my birds. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a tropical bird. <laughs> but it's beautiful. This is um, Rainforest Gardenia. I almost think I'm never going to burn this one now. Uh, it's one that I kind of like cold, but I know it's going to be too strong for me um, on, on, on a burn. So beautiful. I love the packaging on these candles. Absolutely beautiful. And then um, the new candles, I just had, where did I put one of my new candles? Is it behind me? Um, I've got, again, I keep saying I've got a mess on my desk. You'd think I would actually clean my desk. <laughs> what I did with it? Oh, here it is. It's under th something. Look at me. I got, I got bad problems here. <laughs> Ebony Sands. I, I want to review this one next. I love the tobacco note in here. This is fabulous. So I want to see if this one actually performs well. But the packaging this year on the tropicals, we get a little upgraded lid on these two. Um, strawberry daiquiri and um, the rainforest gardenia. We just have the plain gold lid. It's packaging this year is really, really nice. So I give Bath & Body Works credit for that. They also have some really awesome candle holders to go with these new candles. I gotta say, I love this thing. I know it's weird. I just absolutely <laughs> love it. I can't stop. Like, I've actually just like picked it up and just like played with it in the light because it's so pretty. A lot of people are wondering about the top because it's like raised. Um, it doesn't affect the ability to hold a candle though. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to put my strawberry daiquiri candle in here and have like a fruit party going on uh, with strawberry and pineapple. I don't know. I think it would look really cool. Um, I'm almost wishing I had like a bar to set this on because it would look really neat. Um, the other, oh, let me set this back here before I drop it. Um, the other pedestal, of course, that you know I love is this new one and strawberry pound cake looks equally as hot on here because I tried it out. I tried it out. I think either one of these um, is good. Did I just say, I said strawberry pound cake. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm glad I caught myself. Um, it's funny because I was just thinking about strawberry pound cake. Um, in my head, I was kind of comparing strawberry daiquiri to strawberry pound cake because as many of you know, I am a strawberry pound cake fanatic. It's like my desert island scent. I love the candles. I love the body care. However, a lot of people think um, the strawberry pound cake has a little bit of, like, of a chemical note into it or they just plain don't like it. And I get it. Not every scent is for everyone. And um, I was kind of thinking last year, maybe I just, just don't like strawberry daiquiri. I'm a strawberry pound cake girl. I love that, you know, bakery note. So... This year, I'm like, I'm getting the strawberry daiquiri again. It is frozen strawberries, sweet, simple syrup, 
a shot of tropical rum. And I usually love things with rum in them and a zesty citrus twist. So again, this is my second burn and I love it. I gotta say, I am getting the fresh strawberries. I'm getting the rum note, getting a little bit of the citrus note. It smells a lot more um, boozy than strawberry pound cake, obviously, which is just strawberry pound cake. It's got a little bit of a slushy element to it, which I like, and it smells really, really good. Honestly, I think I got a total dud last year. I should have just exchanged it. Um, I don't know what went wrong. Um, the interesting thing about this one is it has really thick wicks. This is why I'm like, the quality control on Bath & Body Works is definitely a little bit different, which is kind of why, um, you know, I, I love companies like Kringle and Goose Creek, who I think make everything like at their facilities. So for example, what I'm talking about, and this is interesting, so the wicks on Rainforest Gardenia are like very thin. I actually kind of prefer the thin wicks only because they're easier to light. Honestly, the first time I lit up a uh, strawberry daiquiri, it took me like 10 minutes because the wicks wouldn't take. This one's a thin wick too. Um, I'm trying to see if I have one of the ones that's got the thick wicks on it just to show you guys. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I don't like this one. Uh, this is the fresh sheets. No, these are thin too. Um, I can't even find one that's got the really thick wicks on it, but it's it's the strawberry daiquiri. Um, I feel like once they're lit, it doesn't really affect the candle quality or the burn all that much. A lot of people, one year, they were complaining because the wicks were so thin, they were kind of just like drowning or falling over or just like burning out. Um, Sometimes in the thick wicks, you get a little bit more like mushrooming. But overall, like this candle, even the second time I've lit it up now, is performing really well. Uh, the throw is a solid medium and the scent quality is like excellent. I like the way they did it on top here. Um, so you've got like a little bit of, I don't know, it's, it's not really a luminary, but you can kind of see through the sticker a little bit. And it's a baby pink wax. So it's pretty. I would definitely light that up um, for summer. So I'm going to give Strawberry Daiquiri my yay. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Um, I don't know what happened last year. Honestly, it just was a weird anomaly that I got a bad one last year. I should have bought another one is what I should have done instead of complaining about it all year because that didn't do anyone any good at all. <laughs> So I am back on the strawberry daiquiri train. It's funny because I remember when I saw it last year, I'm like, ooh, strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> so um, I love it. It's a little strawberry. It's a little rum. It's a little citrus. I don't get like a real creamy note with this one. I don't think there's like a lot of milky note in this one. It's more of like a slushy uh, strawberry rum. So anyway, if you have it, let me know. Um, I'm going to keep this one burning for the rest of the evening. This is going to be our candle of choice. I like the pink flamingo too. Anyway, have an awesome Saturday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.